Okay, guys, we're back, and again, thank you for stopping by. This is the training for Insta Member WordPress membership site plugin brought to you by InstaMemberReview.com and myself, Frank Schwartz. Where we left off so far, we've had a video for uploading and installing your Insta Member plugin. We also threw in a quick video over the documentation. And now we're at the InstaMember setup and configuration, the very first thing that you want to do. It's going to be pretty much basic. Let's run through and make sure that we get it all done. The business name is your business name, which my main business name is Schwartz Media Group, and our address here in Arizona. The currency is going to be the currency of what you're able to accept or what you want to accept. Then we have a membership handler page. Now here, what it is telling us is choose a blank page that will be used as a placeholder for the login registration, uh, for resetting passwords, editing the profile and such. The plugin has auto-generated all the forms or it will auto-generate all the forms as needed. It has uh, created a blank page during the activation we went over, looked, and you can tell right there is the Insta Member Handler page, which is what it says right there. So that part's done for us, which is great. Uh, membership homepage. We can select any of the pages that are on there. Choose a post or a page as the membership homepage. By default, members will be uh, redirected to this page. So what we want to do, and I've just got another tab open, is we're going to go ahead, copy this, just use exactly what they say, and membership homepage. Okay, and I like to go ahead and use exactly what they said, which is the membership homepage. I like using pages instead of posts. Um, it's just a preference. There is nothing um, that says it has to be one or the other. As a matter of fact, they say uh, right here that it can be a page or post. So now that I have that set up, I'm going to go ahead and what I like to do is I like to hit the, I'm going to update settings just so I can come back. Okay, and what we've done is we went ahead and we created the membership homepage. And then log out. Where do you want to redirect visitors after they have logged out from the membership area? Must use HTTP. And I say we go ahead, put up a thank you. Thank you, you are logged out. Seems pretty freaking simple. I just like them. It, 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 the exclude the pages is really a great little plugin. It's able to keep the navigation bar really, really clean. Now I have to refresh this so that it will read that thank you page. Must have the HTT colon forward slash forward slash I do logged out. I'm going to go ahead and update that right there. Okay, affiliate program configuration. Set payment, pay with PayPal, pay out with PayPal. Affiliate cookie, one year. Alrighty, and the affiliate program configuration. Accepted payout, pay out with PayPal, definitely. Pay out with PayPal, pay out with PayPal. Paysa. I'm going to have that off. I don't use Paysa, Paysa, whatever. Affiliate cookie. The default commission if somebody sells one of my things, 50%. Okay, minimum payout is $100. Um, you know, it says set to zero if there's no minimum payout. You know, I'm going to set that to zero. So minimum payout is going to be zero. Commission after fees. If you turn this option on, then the affiliate commissions will be calculated after transaction fees are applied. No, I don't want the commission after the fees. I'm going to say uh, leave that off. Uh, affiliate sign up option. Allow visitors to sign up as affiliates only without purchasing fees. First. Let's go ahead and leave that to on. Existing members have to click a link first to activate their affiliate account. We'll leave that on. Manually approve new affiliates. Like I said, I'm going to turn that on. Autoresponder integration. Licensing serve, uh, server configuration is all filled in. Account sharing prevention, if the account is accessed for more than five IP addresses within 20 minutes, then InstaMember will do the following. 
we're gonna lock and disable that account. So, you know, let's go ahead and say three IP addresses within, I'm gonna say 10 minutes. Notify admin via email. Absolutely, I want an email saying I'm getting slammed. Brute force login attempt. How many incorrect login attempts are allowed before delay? When the limit is reached, the member will be asked to wait so many minutes before the next login attempt. X can be set below. X will be how long. Brute force login recaptcha. Let's see. Yeah. When this option is turned on, it's the member will also show recaptcha on the login form after two unsuccessful login attempts. In order to use the feature, integrate instant member with recaptcha first on the instant member config configuration. All right, and that's the basic configuration. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and pause here because we have payments, email integration, form editor, email IPs, and some extra things to set up here before we get into doing our products, our upsales, and our reports. So right now, basic configuration is all done. And uh, thank you guys very much. Head over to instamemberreview.com. Take a look at how the site is coming along. Thank you very much, instamemberreview.com. Head on over there if you want. And thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you soon.